Today we worked on our Candyland tree. Uh, we've done it two ways. So we've done it at a more budget level and we've done a beautiful opulent tree, which I'm going to talk about right now. It's Nicole from mychristmas.com.au. Hope you enjoy. All right, so here we've created our Candyland theme and we've really worked hard to keep the price of this tree down. So this one is around about $425 for everything that's on this tree. This is a 2.28 meter or seven and a half foot tree. We have only dressed the front half of the tree. All right, so um, if you had a smaller tree, it'd probably be, uh, the quantity would be fine. But if you have a larger tree or if you want to dress the whole tree, then it's not going to look as full as this. I've also got a few tips even on how we can go. You can cut the price down a little bit more if you want to. So let's talk through where I think it's really important to have elements and where you might be able to remove them or, or um, substitute them to reduce the price as well. So with the topper, we decided to put both the gingerbread boy and girl on the top of them. They're $25 each. Again, you could work with one of those rather than both and that would work as well. I just feel that because we're going, to, we're using a bit more filler on this tree, having a wow factor at the top of the tree um, is, is great. We also worked just two of the picks. You'll see when we do our more elaborate tree, we'll actually have a lot more picks in the top. So you could have a third that would put your price up a bit, but I wouldn't go less than two. And that's what we've got in the tree here. Again, we've used two mesh because we wanted to have sort of the interest and the fullness of it. You could go with just one layer of mesh if you wanted, if you didn't like as much of that in there. Uh, mesh is around $20 to $30, depending on what sort of um, color roll that you've got um, on there. Um, another way we filled out the tree was we just made simple bows with our glitter ribbon in the lavender. And uh, as you see, Cara has worked them right into the tree. We just wanted those touches of color coming through. We didn't want to, sometimes the old bows used to sit on the tip of the tree. We just want the, the, the color of the ribbon coming through and giving more fullness to it. Um, then the other thing we've had, we put five of the flowers through. You could go down as low as three if you wanted to, but we thought that five would gave in a nice, um, actually no, you've done three. Oh, yeah. No, we have done three, so that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> three flowers in there, so um, wouldn't go less than that. Um, then the other item that we've got, we've used the durian balls in here and we've used a few of our 12 centimeter size balls. So these are a little bit more expensive because they're bigger. They're $15 each and these I think are $9 each. You could go with just one pack of the 10 centimeter size balls in, for example, the pale blue as a way of using that filler bauble through the tree and cutting your costing down a little bit more. Then um, to add some more wow factor at the end, we wanted to make sure we had these really cute freckles. It's just a foam based ball with like a 100,000 um, over the top of it. So we've got a number of these in here, I think five, yep. five of those through there because we thought they were a real feature. And then we've also added the feature of a couple of packs of actual lolly ornaments because it is Candyland. So we've got the lavender. Uh, so there's a pack of three of those here. And then we've got the Only lollipops. There. Oh, there, I can see one. <laughs> so the lollipops are also on there so that you've got that touch of Candyland. So we're actually gonna take apart a lot of this tree now for you and fill it up and it's gonna be a different price point where we've got a lot more of the decorative pieces and you can then see the difference between the two looks and see what you like and what you don't like and how far you wanna decorate your tree. We're always saying you don't have to have as much as what you see on a lot of the display trees that we and others do. We, we've got everything at our disposal. We've sort of often you'll end up with $2,000 worth of stock. It looks stunning, but if you're needing to do something that's a little bit lower in price, then there are ways that you can um, change it out a little bit to do that. So we'll be back with you once we've got the next tree.
So this year with our Candyland theme, we really wanted to highlight uh, lavender in there as well as what we had last year, which was obviously the pale pink, pale blue, and this light green color. Lavender is the one that's new this year, and we think it looks beautiful in here, really adds a change to the overall. So let's talk through the different elements that we've got in the tree. As always, our tree topper. This time we've worked with two of our signs and uh, I'll show you in a moment how we actually put the backs of those, uh, put the backs on that so you can easily attach it to your tree. We've used our cable mounts on the back of the sign so that we can easily put them exactly where we want. We love the thought of having the pair of them at the top of the tree here. And then uh, we have added two of our beautiful pale pink ball picks and four of our lovely new um, curly sprays in the white to just round it out and to give it a lovely full look. Obviously this is a very full opulent tree so we wanted a bigger tree topper. We also just put this little peppermint coming out of your um, gingerbread there. He's just That's just sitting there which we thought looked really sweet. Um, then we have added our mesh. So this is what we kept in the tree from our original uh, budget version of the tree as well. And we have two layers of mesh that have wound through diagonally through the tree just giving us a bit of colour at the base of the tree. By using this we haven't needed to add any sort of filler baubles, even though these are full trees, you want colour right through. So the mesh is kind of re um, replacing those bigger baubles that we would normally add to the tree. The next element that we like to add is our flowers and we've gone with this beautiful, in fact, where's an easier one for you to see? Um, you can see it there. This really pretty iridescent white and we thought the iridescent even though it's white on a white tree the iridescence looks really pretty you can just see it really stands out because again you've got that little bit of pink pinky purple through there with the um, sequin trim trim on that and we've matched up so we've got two flowers through the tree half of them are the pale pink and half of them are the pale blue each one of them match with a really pretty um, uh, sheer iridescent white flower. We always then work our biggest elements through so we added our two candy canes and we wanted them to both be at the front of the tree so they're focal points so they've been um, we actually added bind wire just made it a bit easier to attach it into the tree you can use the cords that are on there but sometimes that's a good option and put them in there. Then the two sort of repeats that we've got in the tree is we've got these uh, little uh, speckle uh, 100,000 style baubles which are really really cute and what we've done let's see if i can find one here we actually turned them into a pick so again i'm going to show you the little video of how we did that for you now so you can see what to do this is then just put into the tree here the repeat of the freckle um, ornament through there. We also have our durian balls in the pale blue and the light in the lavender, so sort of pale uh, purple colour through as a repeat. Uh, we, you could use just shatterproof 10 centimetre balls if you wanted to, but we just like the, the extra little bit of glitter that you get on these balls. These are 10 centimetre size, so lovely size. Um, there are just a couple of the 12 centimetre, the bigger size balls on here in the pale blue, but again, most of them are sort of more decorative pieces or 10 centimetre size um, 
ornaments. And uh, again, one of the new in the, the light uh, lavender, light uh, purple colour, is this really pretty drop with a little bit of uh, champagne gold on it. That also comes in pale pink, I think pale blue and light green. We've used a couple of different colours in here. I know I've got some of the green on the small tree that we've done as well. Uh, really nice to have a different shape, as we always say, in the tree uh, as well. Um, then we've used some of our uh, candy ornaments. So we've used our candy canes uh, ornaments in the three colours. So we've used the purple, the pink and the green here. This one I think is just sitting in here. Let me just show you the other thing you can do with these. If you have any picks left that you've cut off, and I'll show you why you have cut off uh, picks at the end, you could create this into a longer pick and then use them in the tree as well. That's what we did with the, um, as I said, with the speckle ornaments. It's another option for you if you wanted to create that extra um, extra spray effect. All right, um, so we've got those. And then the other ornament just in here, you can see again, we've got the beautiful uh, lavender in the candy ornament. Again, we've got pale pink of this and do we have the green as well no we haven't put the green on there that's okay they're an option if you prefer them that way and finally to finish off the tree we created these sprays so uh, i'm going to stop the video now and show you exactly what we did to make these two uh, different picks so the two that are in the top are we've mixed together to create a uh, kind of shorter more condensed sprays with the two colors there so let's have a quick look at that video so you can see exactly what just to show you our garland that we've created here so we've put a beautiful nutcracker at the top made it very simple just using a sign instead of a wreath um, up the top there we did put a, a cable mount on the back of that to attach it so there's no string we just didn't want the string hanging and we wanted it to sit a little bit higher two of our beautiful meringue uh, tree sets these have got led lights in them as well unfortunately we keep forgetting to bring batteries with me so i haven't been able to turn them on but they're super beautiful um, with the little lights you can just see on the left hand tree here. And then with the, uh, the, the garlands that we've created, again, all we've done is added some of the same elements that we've got in the tree, layering them on our flocked garland. We have added a second set of lights to our flocked garland so that you've got, um, these are powered lights, so it's a bit brighter than if it was just battery operated and just lay the different pieces through there. A little bit of mesh that matches in with the tree and um, that's it. And here's our little tree to go with the look. So you can see, again, flower at the top, one simple uh, pick as part of the spray there. Another couple of flowers in to match. So we've got all the different colors of the main tree. Then we've just simply added a couple of our different decorations into this tree. So it matches up with our um, main, main tree display. So that's it. That's our Candyland look for 2023. I hope you like it. We were so thrilled with the results. We love that it looks different to last year. Uh, we love the addition of the, the lavender in there and um, also the use of the sprays in there. If you want to see any of the stock, we do have a catalogue for our Candyland range on our website. Uh, you also have all the products listed on there, mychristmas.com.au. If you've enjoyed this video, we will continue to share videos of different looks throughout the season to give you lots of ideas on how you can decorate yourself for Christmas. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's it for us today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and have a sensational day. See you.